get $20 off when you're approved. As an HSN card member, you'll get all kinds of perks, like extra flex on jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases all day, every day. Plus VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, and there's no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. It is the holiday season and it's time to think of some great gifts and I think gifts for the kitchen is a perfect gift to give someone. How many times can I say gift in one sentence? That was pretty good. <laughs> so here's what we're doing tonight. I'm going to give you a sneak peek at, look at this, our favorite, favorite, favorite knife set that we've ever offered is the Cuisinart and it's your favorite too. Why do I know that? Because right now if you go to hsn.com and I suggest you to look at it, there are 618 perfect five-star reviews on a knife set that's under $25. It's the biggest one we do, the 14-piece. It's the best value we're gonna offer. We have the colored knives, which I love, but guys, look at the black set. These are glorious. They come boxed, they're gift ready. It's a fabulous gift to give anybody because everything in the kitchen starts with having good knives. And for $25, you get all that. Can you guys show the black? Can you kind of mm, do a fancy, ooh, there we go. Use that jib like you're supposed to. Come on, bring the, bring the jib. I love the black set. And that's actually a recent addition to the Cuisinart collection. 14 pieces. So you get seven knives plus all the sheaths that cover them for safety. And tonight, five flex pay, it's under $5. To me, that's a stock up one. Because everybody you know needs knives. You have to have great knives, right? It really is the essence of cooking in the kitchen. You can't do anything without a knife to start with, right? So we've got it available and indeed it's coming up. Okay, I'm so happy because we're opening wine right now. Yes, yes, I knew I loved my job for one reason only, although they told me I couldn't drink. Darn it. Hi, Eric. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. All right, so we need to You've been to open... working hard. You're getting those steps in? I'm getting my steps. I so am. Oh, yeah. How many steps did it take you to get from studio to studio? I have no idea what's, whatsoever, <laughs> but they count. That's right. And I know because I have a Fitbit on. All right, so we're talking wine. Tis the season. Yes, we're it is. We're going to be giving a lot of wine as gifts, but I think this gift is smart with a bottle of wine or just as a great little stocking stuffer? The perfect wine opener is called the perfect wine opener for a reason. <laughs> because it opens a bottle of wine perfectly. They have recreated, in my opinion, being a chef for over 20 years, they've taken opening wine to a whole new level because they have eliminated these antiquated things, in my opinion, the corkscrew. You ever deal with one of these That's wine keys? Mess. Or this guy, when you wind up breaking half the cork and you wind up getting cork in your first glass of wine? I don't like that. So what they did was they have a simple little pin in here. And what that does is you're going to actually just inject air into the bottle. What this is doing is that you're gonna push the pin down and then you're pumping air, the same air that we're breathing, and you're using natural force to pop that out. Isn't that brilliant? Now, if we just stopped there, it was $20 and just made you open a bottle of wine easily, it's worth it. But we actually have a full a set of goodies. So what do we get included in this? What I love is that you actually comes in a roll-up, so you can put it inside your drawer, be able to find everything easily. And what you get is you have, uh, let me show you on the silver, you get your foil cutter to get the foil off. You have the the pump, you have a um, uh, wine preserver to preserve the wine if you do not finish that bottle, and then you have an aerator, which is very important because you're going to be able to open up that wine to make an inexpensive bottle taste a little bit more expensive. What's really important if you are into wine or if you have a loved one that's into wine is you want to you know, open up those, those notes in red wine and, red, and white wine, red wine. And that aerator is going to do that. You don't have to decant and let your wine breathe for 45 minutes. Right. It's ready to go. And we're <laughs> going to show nobody, you how to do that. Because once we pop a bottle, ain't nobody want to wait for it. I'm just saying. All right, now I'm going to show you the colors because this is really great. You know what's interesting, Eric, too? From the first time I presented this uh, on the air, you guys have added more colors and more goodies. That's right. I, I love, love that it comes with a wine I bag. I love the wine bags yes. included. All right, so we're going to start on this end. And this one is going to be what we call the rose gold. That would be, right? Did I yes, get that right? Rose, rose gold. gold. Then you move over here, and this is going to be your red. Now remember, you're getting the coordinating 
wine bag. And this isn't paper, guys. This is actually a completely reusable heavy-duty wine bag. So it's all ready to go. Just stick a <laughs> bottle of wine in there, hand it to somebody, and say, Merry Christmas. So that's the rose gold. This is going to be your red. That's your classic white. Comes with a white bag. This is a great wedding gift in the white bag. That would be awesome. I love the purple. It comes with a purple striped bag here in the back. Then over here, when you look at this one close, I bet you this will be the first to sell out. This one is a cherry wood grain look. So if you go in really, really tight, can we go in tighter, guys? Do you have a tighter shot than that? I think that looks beautiful. That's, That's my favorite really one. really elegant. Yeah, you're using it. Yeah, that it's elegant. Really it's, elegant. It's very masculine. It's one of those look, masculine looking the colors. Even the cutter is wood yeah. grain color too. That's neat. So that's wood grain. The next one beside that's going to be our silver and it comes with chevron. And then finally you have the black which comes with the black and white stripe on the bag. This is another one of those is you've got the big list. It's the gift exchange. It's the white elephant. It's the gang at work. It's the gal who does your nails. Maybe the gal who does your hair. Maybe it's a neighbor who's so dear to you all year long. <laughs> You don't have a big budget, but when you want to give something to them, they're going to really appreciate, it's this. And really, Eric, it comes down to the absolute brilliant ease of being able to open a bottle of wine without putting it between your legs, right. taking knives and trying to stab it down because the cork broke I've halfway done through. That. Oh, we've done it all, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and I actually removed the collar from here so you can see what's happening inside the bottle. Okay. So you see your cork, you just push, and then... Right now, the needle is in between that little airspace. Now, all you do is pump it. You're Wait, and this is really crucial. There's a little mark on here. <laughs> Wait, show that right there. Here's what everybody right goofs up. Explain what people goof up. Well, let me get a fresh bottle of wine, yeah. and we will talk about it. Thank you. I like how you did that with, with these. <laughs> so all you do is you push. Now from here, you want to grab the bottle of wine, not the plastic, because you're now going to prohibit the force to be able to get that cork grab out. Grab the bottle of wine. You grab the they bottle of wine. That's a, why it's look, there. Look, it says no handy on the on the plastic part. Don't do that. Because that's the only thing that people get goofed up on. And then you guys are like, it didn't work. Baloney. It'll work. You just keep putting your hand on the plastic thing. <laughs> look at that. I'll even do one. Just Can like I that. do one? Absolutely. All right, here we go. Here, I'll give you Here's that. wood grain. And I'll do it with you. All right. You just press this. Look. You, you push. It's so easy. You pump. Hold the bottle. You push, pumpy, you pumpy, pump, pumpy, and you pumpy. pump. And you, don't, and, you, and you don't even have to go fast. You can go slow while you're doing the pump. That's great. All right, and then how do you get it out? You just grab, you know, with your thumbs, get oh, on either side. Oh, just grab pull it. Oh, gotcha. No, okay. you just push, like this. Oh, I'm making it too hard. Yeah. Oh, that's... <laughs> there you go. It's actually even easier. We were going to get Look. there. I know oh we were going to get there. I was like, oh, I got to do it this way. Here, I got to do that again. Here we go. Are we going to run but think, out of But think about... What, no, we have, pl we have plenty. <laughs> okay, good. But, but think about individually, if you were going to buy these, how much you would be... Just yeah, like that. Okay, and then you go, watch. Watch this, guys. And then you do this thing. Yep. And you just push. See, it pushes it and pops that cork out for pops you. Pops it right out. Brilliant, brilliant. Now I've actually looked online and just a foil cutter and an aerator by themselves, these two items here, were just about, if not more than, than the price here. Okay. You're actually getting four different things to enjoy right out of the bag. So not only this, with the nice carrying case, you get a nice little bag to coordinate. Right. And back it's not to even it. a, a yucky little plastic. No. I mean, it's not a little paper bag. You can bag. reuse it and this reuse it. This is like heavy duty, keep it, give it, gift it, whatever you want to do. Or people can, you know, pay it forward and, you know, that person can give another, you know, That's gift, true. A, a gift a of wine. Bottle of wine. But yeah. I, I love that you can, right out of the, the gate, bottle of wine, you give them the gift. Yeah. So, right. You know, they're ready to go. Well, you know, you finish the bottle of wine, and the nice part about it is they still have the gift they're going to use, and they're going to really love the opener. That's the that's the crazy thing. If you've done the old way where you showed it to, this yeah. nightmare, having to do that little rabbit-eared thing is a hot mess. Yeah, I've had you that. You ever put it between your legs, and you're pulling and pulling? Or have you just ruined the cork so badly that you took a knife and you stabbed it down into the bottle of wine? That's all a bad oh, way you know to what, do it. Oh, that's happened to us. And you know what we've done? The wine is actually shot up and, and stained our ceiling. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Did so, it really? So there's the opener. So you're basically <laughs> just pumping the air that we breathe into that air cavity to pop that the cork out naturally. And then with the aerator, you're now opening up those notes and those nuances of the grape flavors so you can instantly start to enjoy your glass of wine. And then you have the wine stopper, nice. which is going to oh. preserve your wine for up to two weeks. If so you, that'll if you take don't that excess air out of yes. there? Yes. 
Oh, that's brilliant. Because I just thought it was a regular stopper. It's one of those weird things with wine because air initially helps open up your bottle of wine, but then what's going to happen is if you get too much air, it's going to spoil the wine. It's going to ruin it. And yeah, that it's actually a, it's pumps a weird, out the it's air. It's a weird balance. And honestly, I never knew that, you guys. I just thought it was a regular old, you know, kind of stopper. But look at that. You actually pump the air out. Isn't this brilliant? And you can and, way, and you can lay that down on, on the side. Once you actually vacuum seal that, oh, you, you can actually, can actually lay it down the on the side. Okay. And, and it it'll store it for up to two weeks. Here up. And this is going to work on any standard size bottle of wine. How do These I are, know when I have all the air I want out of there? If you, you pull it up, you're going to feel that resistance. Oh, there it is. Just so like it's set. Oh, and very then cool. Ta-da. If, if you're not going to store it in your fridge, if you have one of the wine cabinets that uh, that's going to, you have to put your bottle on right. the side. It's gonna preserve it. Okay, let me show you how many we have sold. This is crazy, right? 21,009, almost 22,000. Now, yeah, it really does. And it just screams gift, gift, gift. You know it. You do, may, do you have that list? I mean, who is it in your life? Maybe it's a school teacher. Trust me, if they've got your kids, they need wine. And they wanna... Oh. I like that you At can customize the colors. I don't know. <laughs> my, I think my son's kid, teachers would have been thrilled yes. if I handed them all a bag <laughs> with a bottle of wine and this. They'd be like, thank you. How did you know? Yes. <laughs> but I do think if you've got teachers to give gifts, if you've got people maybe at your church and they say, hey, you know, you've done a great job for us. I'm going to give you a really nice bottle of wine. You know what also happens too? Is you go to someone's house. What do we take? A bottle of wine with right. us. Well, not only take the wine, but now take a great opening system and just give it to them. And and they're going to be thrilled. And I love the fact that with FlexPay, guys, it's $4. Any major credit card, you pay it off in five months. So just think, do you have a boss who's tough to buy for? Maybe you've got a hubby who works and he's got to take a gift into work and you don't know what to do. The vast majority of people can use this. Obviously, some people don't drink wines. And that's fine. We get it. But really, the vast majority of people you probably know would really appreciate that. Yes, we're bringing that into our control room. By the way, we also have... Have a customer pick insulated wine glasses. They are not out here, but they are available, and I think it's super cute yeah, to get one great. of those. 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 They're really good. We have five flex on the wine glasses, and I don't know, um, Steve, if you can find that. It's a customer pick, and they've got a lot of great customer reviews, and I'll give you the item number on it, too, by the way. It is 607-836. We have a whole bunch of cool colors that will match back to this. And it's $18.20. And again, they are customer picks. It's called the Brewmate. Stevie, can you find that per chance? Boom, got it. Five flex, $19.99 for our wine set. Yep, as I mentioned, it's a customer pick, a big one, by the way, and there's the colors. That would be really cute to yeah. match back to the actual that wine would, opener. I love that. And it would be more fun to do that and put it in the bag with the opener Yeah. and then just give them that and they can get their own wine. Right, that's a, that's a fantastic <laughs> idea. So really, the concept behind this is let's open wine oh. easily. It doesn't have to be a struggle anymore. Exactly. A enough with the, the corkscrews. I've had enough broken corkscrews and, right. you know, cork in my wine. I'm done with it. I, I like having no batteries on a wine opener, no CO2 cartridges on those. No wine recharging. Opener. No recharging. I used to have one that you'd have to recharge, and it was always dead. Yeah. Like by the time I get around to using it, I would have to. And by the time it, that electric one opens one bottle of wine, we could open three or four. That's with true. The, the perfect That's wine a great opener. point. Yeah. And again, I know we're busy for this too. It's so easy to shop on hsn.com, but you can get a bunch of different colors and different choices. And again, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven options colors. tonight, which I will guarantee you by the time we get closer to Christmas, those seven options will not be <laughs> there because it's always popular. Remember, right, push, you pump, and you pop it. There. That's it. That's it. It's so easy. God, who wouldn't want this? It's so much easier than using all the other enjoys systems. Wine. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. Thank you. All right, now I'm really excited to show you this. We will have our Cuisinite knives coming up next, but later on from that same great company, we're going to have the most brilliant air fryer I've personally ever seen, and I have an air fryer, because guess what? It does so much more. This is actually a seven-function air fryer. It does convection baking, standard baking, convection broil, standard broil. It's also a broiler. It warms and it toasts. And yes, it's an air fryer. And when it's coming up, if you've never bought an air fryer or if you have an air fryer that's kind of just a one, one job wonder, please stick around to see this. Also, phenomenal gift idea. You will not use your oven anymore after you get this. Can you imagine that? Not use your oven anymore after you own this. And it's gonna be coming up in this hour. But before we do that, we have our first Cuisinart item. And it's one of our most successful things we've ever done in the kitchen. And that is knife set. 
When you think about cooking in the kitchen, it all starts with knives. You can't walk into the kitchen and basically not use a knife when you're starting to prepare anything. And Cuisinart has really mastered the idea of putting a beautiful set together, giving you incredible quality, like top quality, with features that are borrowed from some of the most expensive knives out there and give you two choices. This is the biggest set we do. It is the best value we do, and I'll explain that a little later. You have the colored choice, or we have the black choice. And the black choice is the most recent uh, addition to it. And everybody loves that sex. It's very expensive looking, but obviously it's not expensive. It's $24.95. Okay, Mark, so I did, you? you know I'm a nerd. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> I always look up stuff. There are 618 perfect five-star reviews Isn't that incredible? on a knife set that's under $25. Exactly. What well, do you think? Well, because the two most important tools in any kitchen are clean hands and a good knife. So I'll tell you something. I got the hands, and we'll take care of the knife. I just had somebody in control. Stop. You got to look what you're doing. <laughs> We're all good here. So I'll tell you what, you guys. Here's the reason that so many people are loving our knives. Hundreds of thousands of people, in fact, love our knives. Have a look here. First things first, we sharpen our knife on both sides. Big deal, right? I gotta tell you something. It if is. you've ever used a knife that's only sharpened on one side, when you cut through a fruit or a vegetable, it shoots off to one side or the other. That is not cool. Guys, watch this. I can't tell you how much I appreciate a knife that's sharpened on both sides, but that's Cuisinart. They take care of everything, you guys. So much so that I can take a grape and make a contact lens out of it on live television. That's really something. Now, these colors that you see, they're pretty, but they're also functional. Listen, guys, at its heart, this is a stainless steel knife. Feels like it, works like it, talks like it, walks like it, but those colors are the ceramic coating, all right? You ever had ceramic knives? They don't chip, they don't rust, they don't carry odors and flavors. In fact, ceramic is the exact same thing that they use to protect the outside of the space shuttle, so if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for your cellar, all right? Now, and they're very expensive, ceramic exactly. knives. Exactly. Well, you mentioned us borrowing the features from expensive sets of knives. Well, yes. have a look at this, you guys. We've built a French tip into this. That's the same angle that your hand hits your wrist with. <laughs> that means that you have complete control. When I say the two most important tools in a kitchen are clean hands and a good knife, that means a sharp knife. That means that you know exactly where it's going every time that blade hits the food. Now, guys, here's the cool thing about this set. It's not your choice of today. This is our chef's knife, and guys, this is just knife number one. How cool is that? There are six more to come. <laughs> <laughs> I no, love it's, it. It's amazing, right? Right? Because you can buy a half, like an okay chef knife. Mm. I don't even think you can get an okay chef knife for $25. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. It is. So, guys, this is our Santoku knife. Now, when I remove the sheath, which, by the way, is included, and we're going to give you these so you don't have to buy a knife block. That's pretty cool. What's nice about these, you guys, you're going to notice something. If you've ever seen these Santoku knives, they take the metal out of the knife all the way down. That's so the food releases from the blade. This is ceramic. Guys, we don't have to worry about food release or nonstick. In fact, because we don't have to take that metal out you keep the weight so now your set doesn't need a cleaver so if it's frozen vegetables meats or if you just have to hock up a pineapple for no good reason that's the one to do it that's with awesome. so let me go ahead and set that there and i'm going to show you a little bit more of a real world problem all right because we don't you know necessarily deal with pineapples every day but this kind of stuff we do yes. and depending on the quality of your knife you might as well use a spoon <laughs> i mean really it's True. not going anywhere this is cuisinart that means that blade is exactly what you think it is and exactly where you want it to go. It just absolutely falls through. And, and guys, you I'm gonna go- you're not sawing or hacking away on <laughs> exactly. it at all. Exactly. And I'm gonna go right from here to this tomato because guys, this is absolutely out of this world. It's one of the coolest demonstrations I do on live television because I've got the tool in my hand to do it with. Now, I see a lot of people watch this presentation. They're like, what's holding that tomato to the counter? Nothing. It's <laughs> all the knife, you guys. That's, That's our Santoku knife. It's beautiful. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit uh, you know, a little bit of what might be a stickier food, and you can see this, it absolutely falls off. So when it comes time for those chef creations and making those great meals, have the right tools on hand, and the job gets a lot easier. Like okay. you said, all you gotta Mark, do is I read reviews. Mark, I know to the next one, but just let me tell you all the knives that are included because I'm afraid we're not gonna get to the seventh one. <laughs> you get them all, okay? So here's what you're getting. An eight inch chef, mm -hmm. an eight inch slicing, a seven inch centuku with a six and a half inch sandwich knife, which is his favorite, the five inch <laughs> <laughs> Sentuku knife, the five inch serrated knife, and the three and a half inch paring knife. All 
of these. You get every single one. If I were picking as a gift, I'd probably go for black. Because if you don't know the colors that somebody has in their kitchen, this is such an easy one. And you know, Mark, this doesn't surprise you, but many of the reviews said one gal bought a set for herself. She came back, bought a set for her daughter and her son, and she brought the, bought the black for her son because he thought it would be black. more appropriate for his kitchen. You know, this is like year three with our Cuisinart sets. And I gotta tell you something, boy, that's what we found. So many people started out with buying that set for a gift or something extra, maybe something for the camper or the home, and then they've come back and they've bought their own because you're able to do jobs like this in the kitchen with a set of knives that's usually reserved for something way more expensive, a lot more involved with a big bend in the special metal. Nope, wow. guys, with the knife that's included, you're making cuts like this. I'm gonna skip right over that's here because awesome. I want you to see all the knives that you're getting. There's so many in here, we abbreviate each presentation so we can get through them all. <laughs> and to Suzanne's point, this is my favorite. It is, his favorite. It is <laughs> because this is the sandwich that I'm not allowed to eat on a Saturday. Okay, <laughs> so here's why I love it, you guys. This is the specialty knife that your deli guy is going to have. And to have a specialty knife in a set like this is out of this world. Listen, it's going to cut down on the dishes because you don't have to use different knives to put your condiments on there. But watch this. This is the coolest part, you guys. We eat with our eyes. So when you go to that deli and you spend $8.99 on a sandwich, you want to make sure that when you get that sandwich and you're all done, watch this. It looks Perfect. Guys, yeah. the crumbs aren't even falling off the bread. That's crazy. Oh, I <laughs> love that's it. so cool. Now, you're going to get a mini Santoku knife. That means this you don't always nice. have to reach for the large one, you guys, which is fantastic. So we've got the ability to do these hard, you know, meats, and then you've also got the ability to do all that fine chopping that you love to do. Sure. You're also going to get our utility knife, so nobody's going to steal those knives and head to the backyard and cut down trees, do their crafts. You're a craft girl. I, I know it. You know what it's like to have somebody steal those good knives. Mm -hmm. In fact, have a look here, you guys. This utility knife is in this set because you asked for it. You're going to get two rows of serration. So follow me down to this tomato, and here's the reason for that, okay? without any weight on the knife, one back, one forward, there's the tomato skin that'll kill so many other knives. So when it comes time for those tough jobs, you don't have, like I said, to say Peter Kilcullen's fancy belt adjusting thing, no problem, you got the <laughs> knife, you can do it yourself. <laughs> and guys, we're gonna go right down to it. You're also gonna get our- Paring knife. Oh no, paring knife. Now a good paring knife is the approximate distance between the top of your hand and the tip of your finger. And this is the same blade with the sheath. So guys, when you're looking for that quality, when you're looking to have that knife in your hand that's gonna go exactly where you want it to go, join the hundreds of thousands, that's millions of knives millions. that people have in their kitchens and are loving every day. And again, customer pick, if you doubt it, there are 681 perfect five-star reviews. Come on, it's a $25 knife right? set, isn't it? And you'd think, oh, there's no way. Please read the reviews, they're amazing. A lot of you are asking about how do you keep them sharp, we've got that Absolutely. covered too. Absolutely, let's it's show you here. a foldable knife sharpener. Yeah, I'm gonna I go love. right down to here. Let's, let's, put, let's pick Sure. this board here and I'll even grab one of these knives because guys this is what's cool these knives that they're hard are stainless steel the ceramic is a coating that means that unlike normal ceramic knives you can sharpen them and our Cuisinart foldable sharpener has three of the most popular stones out there the coarse for the knives that have seen better days medium for that regular kind of uh, upkeep and if you run those knives for the fine every fourth or fifth time you use it you'll never notice a difference in the deg degradation of the blade guys hop on board people love and these just knives. FYI why is this set so popular we have a 10 piece that's $20 you get two more knives with the sheaves in our this for only about four or five dollars more. It's amazing. This is the one you want to get. If you go online, you'll see the 10 piece. Don't do it because you for a couple dollars more, you're going to get our big 14 piece set. And we don't offer the 14 piece very often. We really don't. So here's your item number on the 14 piece, $24.95 and five flex tonight while it's available. Thank you, Mark. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> you get your sandwich. Like sandwich. Nobody's watching. <laughs> That's right. All right, we're going to move on. And don't forget, we've got five flex you're seeing all over the place today and now we're going to talk about one of I think a very interesting item and here's why can you imagine getting the power of very expensive stand mixer uh, and have a more compact design weighs less and it costs a whole lot less and that is what our geek chef is all about it's like taking items that you've seen out there that are wildly expensive reinventing them but giving you the kind of power and performance that you want and not spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars to do it that's what our stand mixer is all about right here and i'm so excited to have stephanie here and talk about the geek chef because i have heard about it people have raved about this but i have not been uh, honored to have it on the air with me i cannot wait to show you this i love this brand because they literally have 
taken what we know and love with some of the really expensive kitchen items. Uh, sand mixers, not anything I've ever owned before. They take up a ton of room. They're usually really, really heavy, and they're just cost prohibitive. They have solved every single one of those problems. Welcome to the stand mixer you will be thrilled to have Ooh, it on your sounds counter. sounds powerful. It sounds awesome. Seven different speeds. We're going to crank it all the way up, 550 watts. And here's the deal. What do we typically use mixers for? Box cake mixes, cookies, it's baking season. I don't want people to think that the only time you're gonna use a stand mixer is if you're a professional baker, if you have to do all these things. They make such easy work of a basic cake mix. I mean, literally, what was that, 90 seconds? Yeah, it was you know, I could give it another 30 and I'd be completely done, but I just wanna show you, that's how easy it is. So when I have a price point that I can work with, suddenly I can do things like a cake mix. Literally, I can't believe I'm done. I was taking a little risk there. That was less than 45 but seconds. But I think a lot of people avoid doing a lot of baking simply because it's too arduous to prep it. Exactly, so what did we do? We took a box cake mix, we dumped an egg, we dumped in water, we turned it on for 30 seconds, and now I pop that in the oven. So don't be afraid of making your own cupcakes. You know, that's all the work that's it fun. is. Make that birthday cake. <laughs> exactly. So you've got a whole bunch of different options here. Yes, We've got the, the gray, the gray the which I think is a very nice stainless look to it, the red. But realize that with the stand mixer, you are getting three different attachments. So when we make a cake, we would do something like use the whisk, like we just did. Now you're also seeing the tilt head. That's this great. is why people love of stand mixers because you have the tilting heads because you have the bowl that comes on and, and that off bowl easily. locks in doesn't it? absolutely That's it good. does so it's so not that, wobbling all over yeah, the place i'm not chasing it over the counter with the hand mixer i mean i've never thought baking is a very maybe graceful experience you know until you have a machine that's going to do all the work for you but it isn't just about baking here is something that i have found the stand mixer to be invaluable for i've got a meatloaf in there oh wow do you know why i don't make meatloaf because i don't like my hands in raw meat like it's just kind of gross as me out a little bit. Right, right. It's a little gushy, as I like to say. I've got a pour spout and a splatter shield oh, that's, that's going to awesome. come with it. That's great. So that I think about this. I put my raw meat in there. I've added a couple onions, a little parsley, a little Worcestershire sauce. I've thrown in my egg. Now I'm using my paddle. So that is the second of the functions that we're going to show you that comes with it. You can see that there. And again, about 30 seconds, and I'm good to go. But here's the difference now. I'm not going to have to touch this meat <laughs> at all because I can take my scooper and I can make either meatballs, meatloaf, sliders, whatever I want to do. And suddenly, I'm not afraid of making homemade meatballs. I can do anything I need to do and, in and the And guys, mixer. I want you to hear this too. That's right. Isn't that awesome? So not you're not plastic. getting plasticky little wimpy pieces. And again, you're getting the power and the performance of very expensive stand mixers, but you're getting a fraction of the price. In fact, it's even better than ever because tonight we're at our lowest price we've ever offered this for. So I think too, if you always have this dream of, oh, I'm gonna make cookies with my grandkids or, well, I do wanna make birthday cakes at home or maybe it is everyday food, like a meatloaf that right. you wanna do or meatballs or whatever it might be. It's great to have a stand mixer. And guess what? The footprint of it is brilliant. It's, you know, other stand mixers, the things are giant. And you know what else they are? They're heavy. Yes, have so you, you have two options. You have to leave it out on the counter and it takes up huge counter real estate, or you never put, you never take it out because it's so heavy to pick up. Exactly, this okay, I want you to much, do that for me. much, much lighter weight. Pick can I up. do it? Yeah, look at this. Look at that, this is easy. You can store it, you can put it away, no worries. But you know what you feel? It's really it's built well. Solid. Like that's really solid feeling. Absolutely. Wow. So you're you're getting the quality, but look, one hand, you're getting light weight so that I don't have to worry about how am I going to get it out of the counter? Where am I going to store people it? people won't pull that big thing out because exactly. it's too heavy to That's lift. That's exactly what yeah. we hear about full-size stand mixers. But you are not missing out on any of the usefulness or attachments. I'm getting a dough hook. I'm getting a mixing paddle, and I'm getting the wire whisk. So I'm using the whisk for things like mashed potatoes and cake mixes. I'm using the paddle for meats and chicken salad and meatloaves, and I'm using the dough hook 
hook for my pizza dough. It tilts on the edge. It has the locking bowl. And what's the capacity in the bowl? It, the bowl holds uh, 2.6 quarts. Oh, nice. So I've got a nice capacity there. Seven speeds, 550 watts. Every single feature for those stand mixers that cost hundreds and, and hundreds of dollars. And the splash and a splatter spout. shield. Yep. And it's got a pour spout so you can pour uh, stuff into it. This is awesome. It, you know, this has become my really new favorite is. little it friend really in the kitchen. Yeah. yeah, because again, it's everything I've always wanted. Like I said before, and I'm not kidding when I say this, I'm a very good and frequent home cook. I cook yeah, from sure. scratch all the time. Absolutely. I've never had a stand mixer. And you know why? They cost too much. They take up too much room. Right. You know, it was just And you one don't of... think you would use them enough. Exactly. And once you get one, oh my, you use it all the time. So let's talk mashed potatoes, which by the way, are not one of the easier things to do from hand. So with the stand mixer, you can cook the potatoes. I've left the skins on. And all I have yeah. to do is add the butter that I want, add the liquids that I want, keep pushing it so that I'm getting the consistency I want. But you know what I'm not doing? I'm not chasing it around a bowl. I'm not chasing it around, around the, the pan. counter. <laughs> I'm not chasing the bowl around the counter. You know, everything is easier when you do it with a good stand mixer. The difference with Geek Chef is not, they're keeping the quality of the stand mixers. I like to keep my potatoes a little smashed too, because you know how potatoes oh, get sure. gummy? Oh, that's yeah. when you over whip them. Right. You know, so would I do this? Look at this consistency. Oh man, that's making oh, my mouth. I'm warm. really happy about this consistency. <laughs> I gotta tell you, because I have ruined mashed potatoes on my own <laughs> with a hand mixer, but I've kept them just a little bit chunky so that I'm not getting gooey. Again, how long did that take? If you are the cook for any of your holiday events, whether you're making spinach balls, those are hard to do by right. hand. Mashed potatoes, whether it's meatballs. To me, this is something that makes baking more enjoyable. Yes. Makes entertaining easier, but every day you can get it out. You make your quiches in it. You make your scrambled eggs in it if you're making them oh, for great a group. Idea. You know, anything yeah. that requires whipping. Chicken salad has become one of my new favorites. So we put two chicken breasts in here, mm -hmm. and obviously I can shred these with a fork, but that is not easy to do. <laughs> why? 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 You can just exactly. Use this. <laughs> so instead, I'm going to put this in here, and I'm on pulse mode just because I want to watch it break up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now I've got it broken up a little bit. Now let's make a chicken salad. So all you right. good with celery? Oh yeah. Okay, let's put in some put celery. Put it all in. Little raisins. I'm a craisins girl. Yeah, oh my yeah, goodness, yeah. it'll get those flavors going there. Just a little bit of nut maybe to make it chunky. And again, getting all this to blend evenly, not easy to do unless you've got the tool to do it for you. So Geek Chef came out with basically less expensive versions of the appliances we know and love right. without sacrificing a bit of the well, quality. Well, that's the thing. You can spend a ton of money, get a very, very heavy stand mixer and never use it. Well, and what a shame that is. Or exactly. it's stuck on your counter because you'll use it, but you don't want to put it away because it weighs 8,000 pounds. It's just hard to Manipulate. And a lot I of the like time it's too big. It's, right. Oh, it's so it's big. It's so big. We don't need to make chicken salad for 12 well, every that's time a great we make point. chicken that's salad. Because that bowl capacity on the real expensive one, it's huge. It's got to be, I don't know, six quarts, I'd say. What do you think? And do you need to make six quarts no, of chicken it's salad? Me and my husband. <laughs> no, exactly. And you know what? Even for me, we are able, I mean, look at this chicken salad in just seconds again 90 seconds oh, that's great it, and it's a great oh, sure, use I'll of try it. it yep try it please <laughs> so this is something that i think when we think of stand mixers you may not think about and that's what i want to tell you about i'm using it for chicken salad i'm using it for meatloaf i'm using mm. it for all sorts of things that honestly don't have anything to do with baking this is not just that's about delicious. baking that, isn't that fun and you know what it has a perfect consistency to it egg salad it's so works the blended same well. way okay, what yeah, do we anything need that we need to do some blending with it is hard to do by hand you do in your stand mixer that's great not just about well it's baking. actually better than by hand because it's all evenly distributed exactly oh, okay so, so then there are the traditional things that we do with our stand mixers things like a meringue now what i like about this it's doing all the work you know meringue is a lot of work you have to sit there and stir it around the bowl chase the bowl this is where people get intimidated with baking you know you look at a pie with meringue on top and think oh i could never right. do you see what i'm doing right now I guarantee you, you could do this. That's all amazing. I did was dial up my seven settings. All I did was push my power on. I will be able to tilt to get it out. I don't have to have cooking ability to be a good cook. You have to have the right tools. And Geek Chef has made this, so it's a tool that you could use for baking, a tool you could use for every day, a tool you could use for entertaining. By the way, just so you know, if you have your HSN card, it's a great hour to use it because everything in this hour, you can get an extra flex, which means it goes to six flex phase. And if you don't have our card, if you apply right now,
now, you instantly save $20 if you're approved. And so now this would bring this down to what, one nineteen ninety five? Wow. Which is phenomenal. Now remember, you're getting the performance and the power of units that are typically much, much more expensive than this. And you get a great capacity and a great weight. So if you said, oh, you know what? I really would love to do, you know, cookies with the kids or the grandkids, or boy, I'd like to bake birthday cakes, or I just wanna make muffins. Or maybe you say, oh, you know what? I really, really like to make a frittata for the holidays, but again, I don't have the capacity, nor do I want to mix this all up. Just really rely on this. And because you can put it away, to me, that's the thing I love the most. Exactly. Is you don't to wrangle this. You don't have to ask your husband to go in the pantry and please bring out my stand mix. You don't have to store it in the garage because it's so big and right. then can't get it down. So something like making cookies, maybe you have dexterity issues because like chocolate chip cookies are all of our, one of our favorite things to make, right? But they're really hard to, you know, cream the butter and sugar to mix in the chocolate. Suzanne's still eating chicken over oh there, by God, the way. So good. <laughs> I see you digging in. It's so good. I love this for anybody that is just to the point and gosh, even I'm most of the way there where it is just hard work sometimes to work with these doughs, but don't make that a reason not to make cookies. You know, we are able to put a basic cookie mix in a stand mixer, let it do the work for me. You know, I can use the use the top of it and keep my flour more under control. Can we talk just a little bit about the dough hook too? Absolutely. We're gonna use the dough hook for pizza dough, so I'll, I'll scoot oh, good. down and coming? show you that. Yep, it is coming. Oh, good, good. But I do wanna show you, chocolate chip cookies are kind of the all-American thing we all love to make, <laughs> but they're hard hard to make by hand. Let the stand mixer do it for you. You can see here that it is doing a great job getting me absolutely well mixed. Look at that. Again, 90 seconds. That's great. Do you know how long that takes me by hand? And that's a lot, it's of, a lot of work. Yeah, hand. I absolutely packed no, that one full. No, it really is. It's nice to see that it holds And I made much. a lot of chicken salad too, but there isn't any there's left. Not, <laughs> I just, I love it when Every you time like they don't shoot me, I just walk out. Yes, I must take the whole darn plate just I to stand love here. It when you like it's what we so make. It's so good. That makes me it's happy. It's actually better than chicken salad they make it home because again it's all evenly distributed it's the little things you know and I want to show you this real quick because oh, I was trying to think of things that I love to make that are easy to make and that you love to make but are a pain in the butt banana bread mm. bananas are annoying to mush into bread that my kids are addicted point. to it okay here's my fun cooking tip of the day first of all make it in a stand mixer because it's so much easier second of all buy a box mix of banana bread Shh, don't tell anybody and add fresh bananas oh, sure. all the other good stuff is in there all I did was add the banana, but I didn't have to sit there and mash it with a fork. So I absolutely love that. Quick look at the pizza dough, because we have been talking about everything that yeah. comes with this. Because I think this dough hook is huge, and that's yep. usually the test of a stand mixer. Absolutely. So that you are able to put in flour and water and make any kind of dough that you need. Again, quick rise yeast, whether it's Friday night pizza, whether you're making rolls for the holidays, the dough hook will do the mixing. So these are all things that make this one of my favorite little additions to the kitchen because of all the different things it can do. All right, show this. But this is huge. Here is the real cool thing that's going to kind of blow your mind. So this wow. is called a four in one stand mixer and the reason is we've been talking about the mixer right all the three different attachments and the splatter shield that comes with this you have the ability to add a blender so a whole nother function That's look at how crazy. this goes you know you crank that up and you do any blending that you want to do right there with the power look at that 550 watts is a good stand mixer now it's making a smoothie. Oh, I love a no, surprise. That oh. is really smart. Ah, ah, ah. I wondered what the little garages were. I'm right. thinking, what are so these? So when you look at the top of this, there's a little spot in the back. That's where my blender function goes. There's a little stop right in front here. And we here. have this available. You can ask about that. That's separate. Absolutely. And then show that so real quick. So then what we do is we're going to use <gasps> that as a, a food chopper. Processor. A food processor. Okay, that's insane. Isn't that fun? So if you're making a meatloaf, you chop the stuff up there, and then you put it down there when you want to mix it up. Absolutely. And by the way, look at all the braids. The blade you get a shredder there's yep. a shredder blade so this you can do all the blade. different things and then well what's this one this is a slicer yeah and then you get the chopper that's the chopper yeah so that's included with that that is clever isn't that fun so that wow. you're using your pusher you're putting it down in and you're using it just like a standard food processor so suddenly you have a food processor you have a blender, blender. you can even got a mixer <laughs> you've got the mixer which of course is coming to you and no you can way. pick up a meat 
grinder attachment. And you know what this reminds me of? Potatoes and onions and hash and all sorts of those wonderful oh, things you can brilliant. do. And honestly, if you want your chicken salad more minced, you would do it in this attachment. Is that not so brilliant? So this is where the four in one comes in. And this is where Geek Chef is so cool. If you make the investment in a stand mixer, you then can have all these other That's things great. as and well. And again, look at this. You literally can pick it up and put it away, which is exactly. really nice. Exactly, no And problem. yet you get that strength of those very expensive mixers out there. Stemmy, thanks for hanging out. Good to see Coming you. Coming up next, you will not believe the toaster. It's coming up right next. <laughs> Here's your Merry Update for today. The holidays are almost here, but we still have great gifts at amazing prices. So go to our gift store on hsn.com to find that special something for her, him, and kids. And we have great deals on all of our beauty favorites, plus free shipping on all Too Faced cosmetics. And today is your last chance to get five or more flex pay on everything. Plus, HSN credit card holders get one extra flex, so shop now. Find your Merry on hsn and hsn.com. Um worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Computers, printers, cameras, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered with a plan that offers repair or replacement should something go wrong. And portable electronics feature accidental damage from handling, which covers unintentional mishaps like everyday drops, spills, and cracked screens. Shop smart and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. I hope that by revealing my true self, it inspires you to be brave and courageous. It's coming. It Cosmetics does things differently than any other beauty brand. We work with plastic surgeons and dermatologists to create real cosmetic solutions. We believe that every woman is beautiful. I just feel a whole lot better about myself. It transforms women's lives. I'm an it girl. You are an it girl. You are it. Don't miss the launch of It Cosmetics here on HSN. Well, this entire hour is called Great Kitchen Gift Ideas, and I think this is truly a great kitchen gift idea. It's from Cuisinart. We know that name, and we know they love coming up with really innovative products. You might have their knives, but are you ready to step up to an air fryer? And you're like, wait a minute. Aren't air fryers round and kind of not that cute? And certainly they're not very versatile because they're great at air frying, but they only air fry. Well, imagine, this is what Cuisinart has done. They've decided to make a seven-in-one toasting, broiling, baking, air frying, and then more system. Isn't that amazing? And it's a convection oven, so it actually works faster than a traditional oven. Now, this is a quote directly from my guest you're about to meet. She said, you will never turn your oven on again after this. Why, Miss Kelly? True story. It is well, a because it's everything. So, well, your big oven dries stuff out, right? It takes up a lot of electricity. This does everything. And by the way, you failed to mention, it's a toaster. Oh, you can get rid of the toaster too. So it's a toaster oven, but it's your air fryer. It's your oven. It's your convection oven. It'll do convection broil and it'll do convection bake. So in the small footprint of about 15 by 15, it's about the size of a toaster oven, maybe slightly taller, but it still fits under standard size counter. It's now your air fryer and your oven. And it can make pizzas. Like and it can a make pizzas. Pizza. <laughs> yes, we will do a pizza start to finish live. But let's just do some chicken wings because we have sports, you know, football games and all that that's happening. You're getting all the accessories that you're going to see me use, right? So we're not going to sell you any additional accessories. You're getting the stainless steel air fry basket. You're getting the baking tray, which you can see underneath. And then look at it. You wow. can actually see through this. When it's on, there's a light that goes on and off. I love that. I can walk I by can't it look and not my wonder. Air fryer. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that's important because, I mean, I'm like of the, you know, generation, I used to open the oven and all <laughs> the heat would come out and then you're letting all the heat. Now you can just walk right by your oven, check on everything. Look at our chicken wings. Now, if you're unfamiliar with air frying, where have you been? 
again. No, just kidding. But if you're unfamiliar with air frying, <laughs> what we've done is we've actually used superheated convection air. So it's a super convection fan on the inside to crisp up these wings. So rather than dunking them in superheated oil, we're frying them with air. Yes. And last we checked, and I'm sure you've checked as well, Which air has brilliant. zero calories, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, dip it in oh, the sauce. Oh, you know it, you know it. I've yeah, been challenged so, by my producer to eat one. Well, no, <laughs> eat one because these are keto friendly, right? Mm -hmm. High in protein. Oh, man. Aren't good. they crispy? Oh. And that's what we've done. Instead of dunking them and frying them in oil, we have fried them with superheated air based on the convection and this um, air fry cycle of the Cuisinart oven. So if you've just sort of not quite jumped into the air frying realm yet, you don't have to because now you can replace your toaster oven. Maybe it's on the fritz. Maybe, you know, you've just really been looking at a new toaster oven. Now you have a toaster oven that's also your air fryer. Oh, it's so good. And you it, guys. Doesn't it taste like it was fried in oil? And, it was fried but, with air. But it tastes better because it's not coated with a bunch of yucky oil, but you get the crispness of the oil. It's, it'll spoil you forever. You yep. don't have to fry your food anymore. You literally can air fry it. But for your point, yep. think of how many appliances. My air fryer, honest to God, yeah, it's, it's this it only big. air fries, it's right? It's circle and yep. it's this big and it's very clunky. I love it. I use it all the time because, again, I would rather not cook in oil, but I want the taste of fried food. Of course we all do. But it we takes want that up crunch. a lot of space. This does so much more. I will tell you, if you ever thought of getting an air fryer, I will highly, highly recommend you to try this one. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, and it does the so best much more. Price. So I did an online search this uh, this afternoon and everywhere I was looking, this oven was $200 or more. I saw it for $220. Uh, by the way, this is Cuisinart. Like that was everywhere else, That right? was everywhere else. Yeah. That was several other websites. Wow. Okay, that was like three or four different websites. You can see you're getting the baking tray. We did our homemade pizza dough, but this could also be a frozen pizza. If right. you're living at my house, it's going to be a frozen pizza, <laughs> but it'll fit a frozen pizza. Now, let me just quickly show you all the toggles because you've got quite a few, but it's easy. Okay. It's not digital. It's not difficult to figure out. Okay. So here's your timer, zero to 60 minutes, right? So we can all figure that one. And it's an auto shut off. It's auto shut off, which I love and it dings. So it's audible. So you know, okay, my pizza's done. All right. So temperature right here, all the way from warm up to 450, but then you've also got broil. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Then we have the keep warm, which I like for your casseroles. It's if not, great. everybody's, you know, ready to eat. Well, it's fabulous. Then we have broil. Then we have convection broil. I've never met a big oven that has convection broil. So there's actually a series of fans in here that activate at different times based on what you choose. So don't think that the same fans that, you know, activate for broil are the same fans that activate for air fry. It's all different settings and there's oh. four different heating elements. But convection broiling means you're actually broiling faster, faster. than traditional broiling. Much faster. Wow. Yes. So here's your toast feature. It toasts. Now, you know, it's great that it toasts, but also awesome that it toasts because now you can get rid of that toaster, right? right? Then you have bake, and I've used the traditional bake. Then you have convection bake. Then you have air fry. So you That's have all. Just huge. It does them all, and each one activates different fans, and each setting activates different heating elements. That's brilliant. So when you're convection baking, you're not air frying. You're convection baking, just like your big ovens that you pay an extra thousand dollars to convection bake. Right. Nowhere near a thousand dollars, and now you have a convection baking oven or maybe this is a gift. Boy, if this is a gift, oh, please. The, the recipient will well, absolutely maybe, go crazy. Maybe it's just you or by yourself or you and somebody else, and you just don't use your oven much anymore. You're like, oh my gosh, for me, I'm making, because I'm this keto freak now, yep. I'm making these keto biscuits that I love to do. I have to turn on my big honkin' oven. It's me and my husband. Yeah. I don't need to be able to use that oven to be able to convection bake. I don't want to use it. I don't even have a convection oven. No, they're $1,000 more expensive. I just have a standard boring exactly. oven. Exactly. And it's huge and it takes up forever to preheat and it's just a hassle and it's big and bulky and you got to get down there and fiddle with stuff. With this, it's right on your countertop. You just throw your baked stuff in there. I mean, you could be doing the cookies. Yeah. You saw us do the pizza yeah, dough the that cookies. we did yep. over with the um, the Geek um, the stand mixer. Speaking of keto, we just did our bacon. Love Makes that. the crispiest bacon. So best, you can see I'm using the ever. convection bake and I'm using 350 degrees and I'm going to do about 10 minutes. We'll keep checking back, but also look inside oh, here. Wow. It's not just for your oh. air fries or this, that, or the other. You can do full meals. <gasps> That's insane. Four and a half pound chicken with all the veg, right? And you're getting all the accessories. So let me bring this wow. down. Now, did front. you? How did you cook this one? So this one was on convection bake. Nice. But oh, you great. could have air fried it you if really you wanted could've. a little bit crispier, a little bit faster, right? Yeah. But this was on convection bake. You have the options. So if you're somebody that maybe is like, oh, air frying, don't necessarily need it. Well, guess what? We all own a toaster oven, don't we? I mean, at least most of us do. Most of us love having that smaller size oven. Honestly, you know what? I don't have a toaster oven. Oh, you. 
you need, you, know, you got to get this one. No, I know. I yes. know that. I'm totally yes. shopping. Trust me. I'm yes. like, my brain's like, okay, you just bought a pair of boots tonight. Yep. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking, well, it could be a good family gift. But here's the thing. Oh, yeah, I'll try that. Okay. Um, That's for you. But thank you. Um, but here's the thing. I don't have a toaster oven. Guess why? Because it's just a dumb toaster oven. Yeah, sure. Like, no, why this would is I an waste air fryer. The space yeah, true. On just a toaster oven, and it's not convection yeah. normally. They just literally are for basically I've toasting. I've actually not seen a convection toaster oven. I have Now either. you're getting a convection toaster oven that will convection bake oh. and that will air fry. Here's that another so slice for you. Nice. So, so it will delicious. also do, you know, wow. full meals. So this could easily serve six, right? So you have all your vets. You have your um, your four and a half pound chicken. Wow. We did a turkey breast in it. Um, uh, on our last show, because it was right before Thanksgiving. How many pounds? Uh, the turkey breast, I think, was six. Was it really? Yeah, it was a six so pound. it was pretty big. Yeah, it was a pretty big turkey breast. Wow. Um, I just delicious. love the versatility that you're going to be able to get with this oven, because it's your air fryer, which I like, but maybe your toaster oven was on the fritz, or maybe you're sick and tired of turning on your big box oven, right? Right, right. Because you know about the amount of energy it takes up. Now you don't have to worry about that. So let's pop in sort of our traditional air fried food. So you can see here, we have our mozzarella cheese sticks, look at our potato skins, and then some, you know, some uh, coconut shrimp. You're getting the air fry basket, by the way, stainless steel, these are all dishwasher safe, oh, right? nice. yep. including the baking tray. So pop that air fry basket in. I love that it's clear, you can see what's happening. I'm gonna give it 10 minutes from frozen. I'm gonna go all the way up to 450, and then I'm gonna choose the air fry setting. And you can see it's gonna turn itself off when it's re ready, and it's gonna give you that audible ding, which okay. I really like. Great. So, all right, then you wanted a cake, This was my you? request. Yes. Because I said, oh my gosh, it's baking season. And again, I've been doing biscuits and I've been doing more baking because I'm making this keto bread stuff. Yeah. So this is really currently very important to me. Well, we did a gingerbread cake, but oh, this cute. could be a red velvet cake. Right. This could chocolate be chocolate cake, cake. This could be lava Ooh, cake. Oh, you could do a lasagna in you here. Could lasagna. You could do a casserole yep. inside here. I am all about this. Yeah. Do not burn your hands. No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. But no, you can do anything you want. There's our gingerbread cake. Oh, look at the steam And by the way, when you bake in it, look at the steam coming out. And look how moist it is on the inside. And guess how long this took? It took about a third or a half the time it would take in our traditional oven. Half the time? Half the time it would take in our oven. Now, this is not keto friendly, so I'm guessing you just want to stare. I'm just going to smell. Yeah, she's All just right, going to smell. All right, we would love to hear from you. Here's why. <laughs> this is a customer pick at the full price, and honestly, that didn't surprise me. People said, we use our Cuisinart air fry toaster oven every day. So convenient and easy to use. Noreen in Florida bought it for my hubby. He loves it. He does all the baking and the air frying in it. Cam in Minnesota or Maryland said, this this oven does an excellent job in all cooking modes. It cooks fast and even. To me, this is the big game yeah. changer. Yeah, it because really again, is. if you're trying to downsize, or maybe you just don't want to use your oven anymore, you know what's it's funny to me? I do, I agree with you. Now that I see it performing, because this yep. is the first time I presented it with you, yep. I understand why you said you'll never use Turn your, your traditional oven, oven on again. It is your big oven it's now. It's amazing. Most of us don't need any more space than a full size like that, casserole. That's feeding that's four to six people. Easily, yeah. easily a side dish, maybe even for eight. That's a full size green bean casserole. You can see in our nine by nine casserole dish, it's gonna fit right on the inside. You're gonna use it just like you would your traditional oven, except it's gonna be faster. Especially if you're choosing either air fry or convection. That's because great. that's that super fan, which is spinning the hot air around the inside of the oven, crisping up your food, but locking in the moisture. That's Great. That's why we love air fryers. Air fryers are all the rage. Then Cuisinart said, let's take it a step further. Let's make our toaster oven do everything, right? Because it even does your toast. Let's walk down here and show the toast that it does. Because now you can get rid of maybe your toaster, which is sure. yeah, probably a $35 toaster, but it's an extra appliance right. that it's you no longer need. It's taking up space on my counter. It's taking up space. Guess what? It does light, medium, and dark, and it'll do six so slices at a time. Way. Yeah, you can set it. Light, That's medium, and dark. Brilliant. And who, who can do six at a time? My toaster does two. Some people <laughs> may have a fancier four. one that does four. You got a four. Yeah, but not this one, six. not a six. This one will actually do six slices at a time. But now I understand, too, why some of the reviews, they say, I do every single meal in this toaster oven. Yes. And I'm telling you, if you ever wanted an air fryer, here's what I would do. You can spend a lot of money here on HSN on an air fryer. We have a lot of great choice, don't we, Kelly? We have a lot of oh, yeah. great options in air fryers. All they do is they air fry, yep. which is a wonderful way to eat, and I absolutely recommend it, and I use it all the time, right? So, or you can get this, get a brilliant air fryer, and it actually replaces your heavy, hot, big oven. How cool is that? Yeah. Also, too, oh my gosh, you hear that sizzling? Yeah, you can hear the sizzling. 
sizzle. Oh, oh look at your look salmon. Look at the salmon. So okay, this is what I'm talking about. This is literally, about. you're feeding six people Six people this. here with the veg, and you can see the six slices of salmon, right? Wow. And we have our asparagus and our tomatoes all underneath, and then let me get my okay, fork. Okay, I got a fork, too. All right, you could eat this. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah this salmon's is totally, good. Yeah, you're so, you're totally good. Look at how fork tender on the inside. Oh, my gosh. How, how juicy, but look at the outside. You still have that caramelization that you love. That's where the flavor is, right? Salmon is typically tough to cook over direct heat, right? If you're doing a piece of salmon on a stovetop, right? You can easily mess it up. Would you like to take a bite? Yes, if you okay, don't mind. that's for you. I've got my fork ready. And by the way, I love you did a huge pile of veggies under there. Underneath. Now, was this in, it was this in this convection was in, this or was in air? bake. This is regular bake. Some things you don't have to use convection for, right? Mm -hmm. If it's something a little bit more delicate, yeah, so you cool. don't have to use that convection mode. How good? That is one of the best pieces of salmon I've ever had in my is life. Is it really? It's oh, really. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, the flavor is amazing. And again, remember, you're cooking in dramatically less time because of convection. This is the best of all worlds. I've never seen a more brilliant toaster oven in my life. It really is smart. Ah, mm, mm, mm. Well, that is good salmon. And I had salmon at a fresh re French restaurant the other night, and it beats that. Oh, really? Yeah, it really See, does. See, that's what we're talking about. Now, if that's this good. is a gift for somebody, they're going to go crazy because you didn't just get them an air fryer. Right. Maybe there is an air fryer on their wish list. Maybe it's your sister-in-law, your brother, or your mother, or something like that. Right. There wasn't an air fryer on their wish list. Now, this is a toaster oven. This is your convection oven. This is something you're going to use not when you just want to do the air fry but look how about a burger little sliders that you can do now did you do or that chicken in just this convection? was under air fry mode oh air fry yeah, of course you can yeah. use air fry you know what's mode. crazy about air fry too you'll get the best exterior and but the interior stays exterior. really moist yes. it's it'll surprise you now the other thing i love about what they've done is they have included a ton of recipes in this recipe book. So you get the instruction book and it's packed with recipes, many that will surprise you. For example, one of them was gonna be beef chips with fresh dill, a blooming onion. Can you imagine doing oh, a blooming? Yes, the blooming oh, the onion. blooming onion will taste like the restaurant version and you know they fried that thing. This will not be fried, but it'll taste just like it. Chicken wings two way, buffalo sauce for chicken wings, sesame ginger sauce for chicken wings, crab cakes, how good would crab cakes be inside there? Oh, crab cakes um, are amazing we have, in here. Uh, crispy chickpeas, fried pickles, Fried pickles without the frying. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? And just the recipes go on and on. There's a lot of recipes included. Okay, this is, is this almost the like you went to the pizza rest. You know where they have like that brick ovens outside? Yes. Where it gets so hot and it's dry and you get that lovely crust on oh, the pizza? Yeah. That's what's happening on the inside here. This is what we're talking about when we talk about Cuisinart and convection, right? Because you have oh, those fans spinning around the outside. You can see the bubbling cheese. You can see the crust is done to perfection. This was actually done from the pizza dough that you buy. You know, you, you, buy, you could buy it pre-done. And you started that how long ago? We started that, well, how long have we been on air? F f 10 minutes, 15 about, minutes. But I put it in I'd a couple minutes. Probably in. about 10 minutes. Yeah, I would say that's oh 10 gosh. minutes. And it's the most beautiful, perfect pizza that you're ever going to experience. Oh, they that's, want it crispier. <laughs> oh, you could if you wanted. You could do it crispier And you do you that on it. convection yeah, bake. Yeah, convection bake, yes, Crazy. for your pizza. But you could select, depending on how crispy you like things, right? right? So if you like your bacon really crispy, go ahead and put it on air fry for your bacon, yeah. okay? So think of it this way. Air fry is a super convection. It activates all the fans and all the heat on the inside of your Cuisinart when you choose air fry. Okay. When you're choosing convection break, bake, you're usually baking at a lower temperature, probably 325 to 350, maybe 375, and you're hitting that convection so that it goes faster and you get a little bit more crisp or a crunch, right? Okay. And it seals in the moisture. Now, if you just want to bake, like for example, over Thanksgiving, my mom just wanted to bake. She said, I don't want a convection bake, I just want to bake my casserole. It was her green bean casserole, we popped it in 350 degrees on bake 20 minutes and we had the perfect green bean casserole. Yeah. And it didn't heat up a big oven. I wasn't turning down my air conditioner and it wasn't radiating <laughs> a whole lot of heat. Or you right? have to preheat for five hours yeah. to get this it up to temperature. preheat for just a couple of minutes if you're doing a pizza because it's a smaller space. And that's the reason toaster ovens were invented, right? right? Because nobody oh, wanted true. to turn on their big, the big giant oven, oven yeah. just to do, you know, a pizza. Right. It's a waste and, of energy. And you know, honestly, we haven't even shown the broil, but I've got a lot of recipes I'm doing right now that require us to broil. This is going to convection broil. What does that mean? It's always that extra step that makes whatever you're cooking really finished well. But usually to heat up the oven, we don't do it. Why? Because it takes forever just to get to the broil mode. And then finally you stick it in there and a few minutes later it's done. With this being convection broil, you're going to get to that broil mode so much faster. Yep, absolutely. Oh, I love the gooey. All right, so this is it. those traditional air fried foods. <laughs> 
foods, okay? So it, you, you can run the gamut from the healthy salmon to the yeah. chicken to the air fried foods. You can see what we've done here mm. is our traditional mozzarella sticks, but guess what? I've used zero oil to fry these. Right. And I still say I'm frying them because I'm using that super heated, super hot air, right? It's still crisping them up. It's crisping them up with air. And I think it's fair enough to still call it frying Look at how the potato skins Look at the out. potato skins <gasps> with the bacon on top, <laughs> with that perfectly <laughs> melted cheese. Wow. So these are your traditional air fried foods, but take it a step further and do your toast in it, right? Mm. You're not gonna buy it just for toast, but my goodness, the fact that it does three different levels of toast and six slices at a time, pretty big bonus. You can get rid well, of your old toaster. Well, and guys, I want you to see this. Yes, now I wish I could eat it, but and I would love to. But, and again, um, it's you can less, have the cheese. but you know what? It's less guilty than the fried version. Sure. Watch this, look at this, you guys. I mean, it's all that. Ooey yeah, gooey. It's what you want. This is why we buy appetizers in a restaurant. We eat them and then we feel wildly guilty about it. Because it's not soaked in the oil, yeah, now you can eat a lot of your favorite foods and not feel so guilty about doing that. Yeah, absolutely. And I think yeah. that that's really important because oh, that's why air fryers were invented. We that's all exactly love right. the crisp. We're addicted to the crunch. Technically not so much wrong with doing the fried foods you know, every now and again, but if you're doing fried foods once a week, maybe once every other week, not it's a lot of fried foods. You're ingesting a lot of oil that your body doesn't know how to process. It's That's not a true. whole food. It's not a real food. We don't know what to do with that oil. Instead of using oil to crisp, how about we use that superheated air? Oh my gosh. So now you have the option of doing bake, convection bake, broil, convection, broil toast, or air fry. Or warm. And, or warm. So if you just want to keep something warm for the holiday meal. Maybe you just meal. want to keep the pizza warm. Well, right? I'll tell you, if you're downsizing, if you're looking to save space, if you have someone moving into their first apartment or maybe a small little studio and they don't even have a decent oven inside there, maybe you say, oh, I've always wanted an air fryer. Don't just buy a standard air fryer. And yes, we've sold a lot of them. We have great air frying brands here. We love them. But boy, for your, the bang for the dollar oh my is going for this this. And these are sold out a lot of places. Well, I did find they, them a couple places she's, online. And they were between, you said, 200, 200 and $220. $220. Yep. They obviously don't have five flex pays. We've got free shipping on this. This is a great family gift, too. Oh, my gosh. If you have someone getting married, just think a little farther ahead. Oh, tuck sure. it away for the wedding. It will be a well, wonderful it wedding gift. Grab it while it's on gift. sale, right? Oh, I would totally Okay, that. so yeah. you can eat this. This is bacon. I'm yes. going to pop the bacon onto our, ba our burgers. <laughs> um, but you can have it as crispy as you like. Some people might go a little bit longer. I don't like and it air overly fried, done. I love air, air fried, fried crisp bacon. bacon. Be, and guess what? Because bacon the oil, on in fact, I'll have time to do it. Watch this. The oil dripped through to the bottom of my pan. Right. Look what I'm not ingesting. That's the oil I'm not eating mm. from my bacon. So I'm just eating crispy bacon mm -hmm. instead of eating the natural fats and the natural oils that you don't want to eat because they have the calories oh. and I'm eating my decadent bacon. There we go. You're gonna Without love the it. bun, we're all good. Yes. Hey, thank all you. All right, you guys. Thank you guys. Hang on.